guys so welcome to part two of the coil over insulation today we're going to be doing the rears um so it is already 5 30 in the afternoon so hopefully it doesn't get dark or rain but uh very windy out there but anyways learning from the front two i what i did was i set these already so i had this tightened at 1.6 inches right there 1.6 inches well, hopefully i can get some good angles and it's nice and clear and easy for you guys to do so here goes there as you can see the front ride height's a lot better than the back i mean the higher up you stand the, the more you see it so it all depends on the angle yeah if you come under here then it doesn't look like it's low enough but then when you're standing up, like, it's definitely perfect for me. One finger straight, you're still rubbing the tire. So if I, uh, I kind of want to get some spacers just to make these come out a little bit more. Like, just to the, to the part where I won't have to roll my fenders. Yeah, look at the tread wear of the front. Because so I bought these the same time. Can't really see the middle of them, but I do take turns pretty quick. That's why it's like that. And lots of launches. Now let's go to the rear. Look at that. They're still pretty much brand new, but unfortunately there is a nail in one of these. So I think I'm gonna go to the Firehawk Indy 500s. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I might just rock these all summer and just risk it with the nail but I don't know probably not a good idea I would like to throw these on the front just for a draggy run <clears throat> but I I do rather have the better grips in the back for coming out of turns if you didn't see part one I showed how to remove these rear seats what you're gonna have to do is loosen these two so much cleaner and nicer um, in here than the, the front so once you got your 14 mil go ahead and loosen these up Ugh. they are finger finger loose after that there we go you save this for the impact gun later I hate that I had to drive this in the winter I really wanted to store this but no garage so um, and no money to buy a winter beater so what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove that bolt there you're gonna go ahead and remove those two Those look like uh, 10 mils or 12 mils. So you're gonna need a 17 mil for that bolt there, the big one. I actually broke my half inch to 3.8 drive and uh, I didn't go get a new one yet. So hopefully uh, this will work to take that off. So. I mean, seems to be coming off. Just so you know what bolt I'm getting there, it's that one. Perfect. Let that sit over there. 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 I'm going to go ahead and remove these and get the other one out. Now I'm going to use this as a tap on the screw. Pull up on that? Uh, doesn't seem like. So after uh, a lot of frustration, about 35 minutes of banging, uh, we got this out. So what you need to do, you need to put the jack under there, and you need to really, really raise this up pretty high, and then the bolts will come out. Once you push up the whole assembly, it it'll pop out like fairly easy, without damaging anything. Okay, get off. Okay, you're actually going to have to step back on. Okay. 
There we go. To remove this, you're gonna need an impact, because if not, this will just keep spinning in there. So we used a 9 16th, but a 14 mil is the proper size. Clean this up and then switch it to the to the tain. All right, so like the front one where I messed up, this has a washer there, so don't forget that washer or else your thing's just gonna pop right through. So same thing like the front, there's a little notch right here, which is gonna go right into your spring. And don't forget your washer, I believe this way. There, this with the little lip up, facing up. So your nut on there, pretty snug right there. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. So all you do is put this in, and to do that, you're gonna need somebody to stand on this or put pressure, um, and then, because if not, it's not gonna fit. And make sure your, your nut part, or this part is facing your rear seat. Now you just go ahead and line up your holes, and yeah. Pretty, pretty simple, I guess. This part here, which was a pain in the butt to get out, slides right in now. Um, so, I don't know why that was so difficult a while ago, but. Put the jack here to lift it up to guide it into the hole. And then you go ahead and tighten, tighten that right in there. I already got the two uh, 12 mils on the other side and just going ahead and doing this side. These ones are 44, 47 foot pounds. I'm just gonna snug it up. When you loosen them, you're gonna know how, how tight they were and just kinda put them back that tight, I guess. So, as you can see, there's still, it's not that low, but once you do the other side, it, it gets lower. All right, guys, well, I tried to get a daytime video, but I just haven't had much time, so I will get some daytime footage, but this is it. Um, as you can see, ride height is definitely a lot better now. Very happy with it. Now I need that A-spec kit to complete the look for sure. And like I said, I will get some daytime footage, but I just wanted to end the video here. Um, been really busy lately. I uh, got a lot more mods to install. Well, not a lot more, but I got some more mods to install. So hopefully installing one tomorrow. It is supposed to snow and rain for the next few days. Yes, that's right. Snow and rain still. So um, unfortunately, I got my summers on now. But anyways, that'll... Um, if you guys didn't see Leo's video, he got the new, uh, new lights in. They look amazing. I definitely want to get that clear, uh, diffuser and, uh, I would like to get the whole headlight, but, uh, I feel like someday I do want to get the jewel eyes. So for now, I think I'm just going to get the clear diffuser and take the headlight apart because I need to clean these anyways. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, probably when I do the grill. I am doing a custom grill, so um, hopefully that'll be in the next month, next couple weeks anyways. I want to try to find all the parts I need for the grill, and then the, the clear diffuser is only like a hundred bucks, so I mean, Canadian's probably going to be a couple hundred bucks with shipping and everything, but anyways, uh, hopefully you guys can see, I mean, I'll take some nighttime footage, because my phone has night mode, so it's a lot easier to get photos. Nice quality photos as opposed to video. And uh, I really love the wheel fitment. Of course, I do want it. Uh, you can see there is a bit of camber. I do want it to come out more, but this this will have to do for now. I might have to get adjustable camber arms, but. Anyway, somebody's pulling in here, so I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Feel free to comment, share, subscribe.
and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. I do wish they were out a bit, so I might get wheel spacers just because I want them flush with the fender. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.